Hey guys, welcome back at Thomas Rumbers channel. My name is Fred and I hope you're doing well. Today we are transforming a floor tom into a bass drum. Before we get started, don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the bell to get informed about the latest videos. But now, let's go. The most important part is to use a bass drum riser to hit the tom right in the center of the head to get a good feel for playing and the best sound results. And we need something where we can mount our bass drum pedal to the tom. There are different systems on the market and I like to use the Pearl Jungle Adapter in combination with Pearl's tom holder. In my opinion the best solution for a 6 inch floor tom. For our new bass drum it's not that important what kind of floor tom we use. Just look up your rehearsal space or garage and take the one you'll find in the corner. I took my Tama Mirage 6 inch floor tom. It's way more important what kind of drum heads we use. You just could go for any double ply head for the better side and anything else for the Rezo side. But I want to suggest to use a thick head for the better side to tune it as slow as possible and to get a controlled sound. I took an Evans e clear Clearhead for the better side and an Evans EQ4 calf tone for the resonant side. To get the bass drum mic in the right position I used the bass drum O's cutter to cut a perfect hole in the head before I've mounted it. Now I replace the tom legs and mount the bass drum riser and tom holder to the floor tom and attach it to the bass drum pedal. The floor tom is in a medium low tuning during this whole episode. Here's the result without dampening. The bass drum is very boomy and long because I've used snow muffling. This could be nice for slow beats. Let's listen to the same tuning with some muffling. To get a sound more crisp use as much muffling as you like. I've added some more fabrics to shorten it much more. To transform a floor tom into a bass drum gives you some nice possibilities. Besides new sounds, it's quieter, so it could be a rehearsal bass drum for example. Or when there's just a tiny space for the drum set at the gig, this could be your go-to bass drum. My favorite is with medium muffling because I like the ratio between crispness and sustain. What is your favorite and have you ever checked out turning a floor tom into a bass drum? Let us know in the comments below. See you in the next episode. My name is Fred. Bye.